Hello, my name is Bram Verstokt and I am a resident in gastroenterology at the University Hospitals of Leuven, Belgium, with a special interest in inflammatory bowel disease. As a PhD researcher, I currently study the use of biomarkers and drug serum concentrations for a more personalized management of patients with IBD. In this presentation, entitled Low Alumumab Serum Levels at Week 4 Provoke Immunogenicity and Influence Therapy Outcomes, Opportunities for Rapid Proactive Testing, I will guide you through the results of our recent study. In order for a drug to be fully effective, a sufficiently high drug concentration needs to be present in the patient. Therefore, the concept of therapeutic drug monitoring has been introduced in the field of IBD. It comprises the measurement of infliximab, adalimumab and fidluzumab concentrations in serum and plasma, as well as antibody development towards drugs because of immunogenicity. Therapeutic drug monitoring using the RIDA screen and RIDA quick tests from our biofarm has shown to be useful to optimize the treatment of patients with inflammatory bowel disease, which will increase the likelihood of a patient to be in clinical remission and achieve mucosal healing. So far, the clinical value of therapeutic drug monitoring has been widely recognized in patients with active disease or loss of response, which is also called reactive monitoring. In these patients, Reactive monitoring is useful to identify the reason of loss of response and select the most appropriate treatment strategy to regain response. However, the potential of drug monitoring may be even higher in a proactive setup as early as during induction to prevent future loss of response and treatment discontinuation. To evaluate the impact of adalimumab drug concentrations during induction treatment on long-term outcomes and anti-drug antibody development, we conducted a retrospective study at our tertiary IBD referral center at the University Hospitals of Leuven, Belgium. In this study, we selected biologically naive Crohn's disease patients who started standard adalimumab induction dosing. Serum samples were collected at week 4 and week 12 following treatment initiation. We postulated that proactive monitoring may benefit most from the availability of a rapid drug test, which allows for immediate dose adaptations. Therefore, we measured drug concentrations using the RIDA-QUICK ADM monitoring test, a rapid test that yields the adalimumab concentrations in only 20 minutes. This rapid test was shown to correlate perfectly with the standard ELISA technique, the RIDA-screen ADM monitoring. In our study, we found that drug concentrations as early as week 4 could be associated with the development of anti-drug antibodies later on. The lower the drug concentration, the higher the risk of future anti-drug antibody development, which is known to be associated with loss of response. Moreover, we also observed that drug concentrations at week 4 could be associated with the need for dose escalation at one side and with sustained clinical benefit at the other. The lower the drug concentration, the higher the likelihood the patient required a dose escalation in order to maintain response. To conclude, proactive monitoring of adalimumab serum concentrations as early as induction is a promising treatment strategy that allows reducing future anti-drug antibody development and preventing treatment failure. The RIDA-QUICK ADM monitoring is a reliable test for adalimumab drug monitoring that supports immediate dose adaptation in clinical practice. Thank you for your attention.